Okay, today is the 10th of January, 2020, and you're going to see this intro on three separate occasions. These videos are about recent political attacks. So I'm going to talk about AMHA, AMHA, M1. I'm going to talk, uh, which is a housing authority. I'm going to talk about ODJFS and another, which is SNAP Renewal Food Stamps. And I'm going to talk about key bank, all corporate entities. And there's one thing that I might slide into one of those two videos because it's not really an IRS issue, it's a mailbox issue. I have an issue with my mailbox being violated. You're going to hear this in the background. I'm making pop stickers right now. Okay, so. All right. As you can see on here, it says that the it can't this form can't be submitted any later than the 31st of december i was in jail from november 30th until december 16th and that day i faxed it to them i went to the springfield branch library and faxed it so you're going to see these signed documents this is a notice that i had waiting when I got out of jail, I signed this also. There were five pages total that I sent. This is my request for a in-office appointment. And here is the confirmation. Okay, this is part three of the digital journal and it covers pretty much the day that I got out until the 4th of January. Um, and then like I said, screenshots, documents, emails, um, letters, anything. I ran quite a few errands that day. So in tasks, that's what you see and then you'll see me annotating whatever took place. That's weird I didn't put the email confirmation in there, probably because I kept it for record. Um, and these were the other things that I did. I literally ripped and ran errands all day that day. I got out at right before 8 a.m. And I was supposed to get out the day before that. Notice also they're lying about my location. They're not even allowing it to reference in most of these videos or photos too. I went inside and I got an envelope. Okay, so what I did, since I didn't have the ability to like print, you know, write and print um, a little note, you know, about the facts or whatever, I kept that page for my record. And I <laughs> stopped talking and I covered down on it by emailing that information. So they have a copy of the facts as well. Which one of these? Not that one. Must be this one. So in order for things to take place for me like they're supposed to, I have to jump through about five more hoops than everyone else. And this is all after I got out of jail. Um, if you're interested in seeing that video, it's titled Summit County Jail. And it may have the date. It may just have November or December 2020. But 
It can be found on my Facebook page. I am not going to be, I'm scheduling it to be released. I'm not going to release it beforehand. And I'm going to schedule it for the middle of March <clears throat> because it has a lot of details in it. And the thing about that is before, literally every time before I release something about these corporate entities, I make sure I have the complaint in if I'm writing a complaint. And in this case, I'm writing complaints to the courts and other entities. So I'm... Um, I need to get that notarized and send it in before I release this information and make it public. Not that anyone's watching right now, but I have a way of protecting myself. Okay, so the stimulus check thing. Speaking of normal watching, that's what these screenshots are. They're showing that none of these videos have views. And these were taken on the 6th at Main Library. That the agents absolutely threw a fit about me being at. Anyhow, that's not what I was about to show you. Let me find these screenshots. Okay, first payment. I got it on the 30th of May. May or the 30th or the 31st. Because I believe that I noted it on the 31st. I know for sure that I got it out of my box on the 31st. But it was already in my box on the 30th. If that makes sense. Okay. Um, January. And this is an IRS reference. Like I said, it doesn't point at them being a problem. I have an issue with... The neighbor, Kelly Bunn's boyfriend, going into my mailbox. I've caught him on like three occasions, and I've even informed the landlord about it. So what I'm doing right now is, I'm, well, I need to, I noted that as a request. So I'm working on that as well. I dropped it in last night. But it's asking <clears throat> that he move my mailbox to my porch. Simple request, easy, but he hasn't even made the repair from um, that I requested in March of 2020, and I did not put the rent in escrow. Um, it's crazy because, like, when I couldn't pursue these entities legally in June, like I planned to, like, they were under a different impression. And this is after the government has removed my documents, and because no one's watching, no one knows that. Okay, in the last video, I mentioned VSC. You're probably thinking, well, what am I going to do? How did I remedy this situation? I still have a lot of food from, like, the 16th. I've been eating hibachi a lot, like homemade hibachi and stuff like that. Problem is, I run out of the vegetables. I run out of zucchini and squash, and I need to go and get that. Um, and I could go into some details about how all those things are um, have become an inconvenience, you know, with, like, not having food stamps. The locations that I go to that are most convenient in terms of commute on foot. Um, but I won't. So, anyhow, this is how I remedy the situation. This solves the salt or the need for food. It does not solve the um, salt for transportation, you know, bus fare. Like, that's out of... In, an out-of-pocket expense that I can't afford. Um, as of November, I mean not November, December 16th when I got out, I had, I purchased two bus passes and I had one left. And then I went and I got one from VSC for an eyeglass appointment that I made. Let me show you something real quick because I came across it first. Um, VSC took care of... Maybe that's not necessary. I'll talk about it in another video. Okay, here it is. When I made the eyeglass appointment, that same day while I had a bus pass or two, maximize the use of a bus pass, I went and I got a bus pass for this appointment. That's the last pass I have left. And it is on my refrigerator.
and I was planning on using this once I got my stimulus check and I haven't gotten it. This is unlocked. Oh, matter of fact, this was the first one that I did. The next day I created a new one because something was, it was the order. They were shifting the order and throwing them out of whack. So, um, definitely review Gang Stalking Paper Trail. This is what it looks like now. All those comments are mine. You can't comment on my Facebook page. It's all supporting information, documents, references, stuff like that. Something else they're mad about the storage unit. Like when I was here in November, I asked her if she needed to put my new debit card on file, but I did not record the conversation. And it's a dice, a female that's married to a female. Um, and, you know, it was like the. Um, that interaction was used to manipulate, you know, make it seem like I was with some shit that I wasn't. And it came out like later in the conversation. Like she was talking to me, talking, 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 like we're talking to her, but normally she's uncomfortable when she sees me. I have some footage of that stuff too, but anyhow, now they're mad about this. And this wasn't three days ago. I took that phone shot on the 20th, so it was three days before that. The 17th. What they did was, um, they always do something to inconvenience me because I was paying their head. They um, raised the um, insurance plans, like they changed providers. And so, even though I paid their head, it pushed me still, you know, within the amount of due. And, you know, how remote harassment goes, they've been threatening me to cut the lock and all kind of stuff. But anyhow, I planned on vacating the unit anyhow. Actually, I planned on getting justice in November. They saved that guy's life with magic. So, I didn't even, you know, it's a whirlwind. So, anyhow, now I'm vacating it. Even though I'll have funds to keep the unit, like I said, I'm getting surveillance. This was four days ago. The entire reason that I got the storage unit was because they were stealing items out of my apartment. Mm -hmm. Steve to do it and when those devices when devices or a SD card would come up missing in 2019 they were using it as a sacrifice to make gain and you know like I said these Upland Avenue the neighbors they represent world problems and they represent businesses and corporations you know like it's just alien hierarchy so the small things that they do to distract there's bigger changes and bigger shifts taking place, you know, on the societal front. So, <clears throat> something else, the video that I made at BSD is going to be one separate, one of its own. They took care of my Dominion bill, which is my gas, but they wouldn't accept this as the form of my um, electric bill he needed the actual copy and you know in the past it's weird because they've been able to pull that information up but it is a lot of things that were weird about the 7th during my visit there um so one is taken care of the other is not and as you know i've stated in some other videos that they have an issue with my decor lights thing I'm going to add again to this video is a caveat from the last one, the key bank video, because I wasn't able to think to add it then. Oh, these are the gift cards, $300 in gift cards. Okay, so this is after, um, this is actually the guy that 
I asked for a dollar at Circle K on Brown Street in Lover's Lane. I hate when this conversation is because it was a little bit before that, but anyhow. You know, I was at the gas station and I see you walk out. You walk so damn quick. I'm yeah. coming this way and I'm like, shit, I ain't see which way you went. Oh, okay, yeah, no, like I got some really bad stuff going on. I'm being attacked by the government. Have you ever heard of gangs talking? Gangs talking? Yeah. Somewhere, not really. Somewhere, not really. I mean, I'm not a gang, but not like stalking or something. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, the name doesn't know justice. It's a covert operation. It's run by agencies like the CIA. So you probably know that the CIA is like... Police. Huh? I said like the police, you mean? Yeah, but like work. You're like responsible for perception management. You know, so anyhow, it, it's, it runs deep. And I could tell you all of it, and it would make complete sense to you, but I don't know if you want to hear that. <laughs> Yeah, I'm somebody who's always had, and they got me on foot now, so, you know, it's bad. So basically what you were here trying to catch people in gangs or something, or like what? No, like um, you, they're after me. Like, the, the goal of the torture program is to isolate and destitute the victim. So, um, like I said, they're responsible, the CIA is responsible for perception management, which is a form of mind control. Probably know they have access to DNA and binary code, you know. So, um, and you're familiar with Hollywood, I presume. So you know you've seen some of the occult type stuff that goes on, like with them being possessed, and they're looking nothing like them being possessed. That's crazy. Shit. So you know, like um, I'm the matriarch in my family. You know, I've always been there for everybody and everything, and they're able to make those that once loved you despise you. You know, and it's all over the truth. I talk about matters that compromise the Bible and the Constitution as a result of them attacking me. So it is pretty bad. Got that you got to do. Yeah, I mean, justice is around the corner. I've put a lot of things in place um, in order for like the legal side of things. So it, it, it's inevitable. It's just getting somebody to act on it, you know, like I said, they got a covenant to talk about matters that compromise the Constitution, a bunch of white folks behind it. Yeah, white man everywhere around this month, huh? mm -hmm. But the black man is its maker, so... Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Yeah, yeah where you walked up, I'm like, where did you, he just yeah, come yeah. from? Just right there. Yeah, I see you when you pulled in, but I didn't even hear you get out. I was trying to listen to a video I made about my daddy's car getting stolen. That's the type of shit I'm talking about, like the misuse of physics. So, are you familiar with physics? I ain't gonna lie, I'm kind of positive. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Blowing your high. It's like we only three, four, five days into the new year and got to blow your high. Let me leave you alone. They got some crazy stuff going on, man. Maybe it's the government. The government is the antichrist. You know what I'm saying? Like, they can tear shit up. Yeah. Oh, you got a dog? Yeah, that's why I'm this shit crazy. Though. Really? What kind is it? Can I see her? She vicious? Yeah, that's why. I'm oh. Oh. I thought she just. You know, no, my dog used to ride in the back like that all the time, and he would bark, but he was harmless, you know. She, he like, she no, she a bite. See you next year, daddy. So. Yeah, yeah. What's your name? Dale. Dale. Yeah. My name's Tequila. Yeah. Well, it's, 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 Found it. Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> you know, the germs, I ain't worried about none of that. We're going to take more than that for me. All right, take care.